So today we're looking at trig functions in Desmos, graphing them. So to enter your graph, you start with f of x equals 2 sine bracket x plus 90 bracket and then we're going to add 1. So there's our there's a sine function there obviously, but we know that our amplitude should be 2 and 2 is here and 2 is there, so 1 and 3, that's correct, yeah. Our phase shift is 90. Oh, well we've got 2 here, 2 there. The, the horizontal axis isn't lining up, so what's with that? So what I want to show you is that Desmos defaults to radians. So you have to switch to degrees and then you're going to have to change the parameters for the y, x and y axis. So your x axis, you want to change that to something like minus 90 and positive well, 360. Oops. What happened to our 90 there? And that's supposed to be negative. There, that's starting to look right. And we're, we have degrees. So there's our graph. It's a sine graph. Goes to down and up. It's got a phase shift of 90. Well, let's see how this is looking. We've got here a vertical shift of 1. So if we add another line that says uh, y equals 1, it gives us a graph here and we can add, oh, zoom out a bit, find out where your points are. You can see that we're going from negative 1 to 3, so we've got a vertical shift of 1 and a phase shift of 90 because it's a sine graph. And a sine graph looks like a coast graph if you've got a shift of 90. So if you started here, it would be a coast graph. Start here sine graph. And again, there's our amplitude of 2 from negative 1 up to 3. So just remember, use the wrench, change your settings, and you can see the graph the way it's supposed to be drawn. If, it's, if you're using degrees, like I was in this example.